Ready or Not has filled a hole that's been lacking by a good amount of the gaming community, specifically people that are looking for a CQB team-based room clearing game. As hard as the developers are working on it and as great as the game is already, we're still left wondering, could it be better? That's the question I'm going to answer today with Volume 2 of our Ready or Not mods. If you haven't seen Volume 1, go ahead and stay to the end of the video and there'll be a card at the top linking you to it. Or if you're impatient, go check it out and then come back to this one. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the five mods for the day. The first mod we're going to talk about is the More Slots mod. This mod is simple yet necessary if you're looking for a more realistic experience. When you have this mod, you gain additional slots in your lethal, your tactical, your rifle mags, and your secondary mags. Having this allows you to develop a little more of a realistic loadout. For example, maybe three rifle mags and two pistol mags or four rifle mags, three pistol mags, uh, and more flashbangs, like maybe three versus I think the two that come stock. I've been using this mod for so long, I'm not even sure how what's standard the download files on nexus have the option to download 20 slots 30 40 or even 50 slots and i don't think you'll ever need 50 slots but hey play your game i guess coming in at number two is the end game menu mod this mod created by rare kiwi is a game changer it allows you to increase the max number of players to 16. i've heard somewhere that you need to limit it to 10 to 12 or you start to have some bugs but you're usually not playing with more than 10 anyhow a little more than 10 becomes a bit of a party the in-game menu has a lot of features but mainly the best one is to be able to pull up the maps and game modes and start the mission without going to the desk standing in the little zone for 10 seconds it's just, it just flows now this mod unfortunately is not compatible with the camera mod that we talked about in the last video he said he worked on that and i guess they did another update and now it's back to not really working so so you can't run both but i kind of flip flop between them depending on what i need for that day hey guys i just want to jump in here real quick and say i appreciate each and every one of you i recently broke 200 subscribers on my youtube channel and that makes me unbelievably happy um, my next goal is going to be 300 uh, if you want to help me get to that go ahead and drop a subscribe drop a like on the video so it helps out the algorithm i'm not going to waste any more of your time let's jump into the next mod all right number three is battle belts for all this mod created by groans for you for is needed for a lot lot of uniform mods so if you're downloading uniform mods you're probably going to end up downloading this anyhow but even by itself it makes the battle belts look way more aesthetically pleasing and more realistic to a SWAT entry team versus the game's standard this mod is simple but it just continues to add to that aesthetics of the game making for a more immersive experience all right moving on to number four we hinted at this one in the last volume but it's going to be a primary mod for this video the slay gp nvg this mod has a beautiful replica of Slade's GPMEG setup seen in this video. The way they're set up with the end attachments creating smaller holes allow for focusing to be less of an issue when running the nods. In addition, the illumination options that this mod gives creates for a backlight on the eyes, uh, making for a more realistic, better mod. Anyhow, beautiful mod let's jump into number five number five is the not so convenient mod this mod by the loaf lord has exploded on nexus mods it features a convenient store in day night and christmas mode the maker of the map is even trying to add lore to the different maps that he's developing so that over all of his different mods a story is told the environment itself is destructible with exploding fire extinguishers and breakable glass and breakable cars with the game being in beta and some of the maps getting a little bit repetitive even with the random generated AI, it's good to have a little bit of a difference with a new mod, with a new map, uh, just to have something different to run with your guys. All right, guys, that's going to be it for volume two of Ready or Not Mods. I hope you're enjoying the game and I hope you're really backing these developers as they're working so unbelievably hard on giving us a fantastic game that the community deserves. If you have any mods that you think I should add or have in volume three, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. If this helped you at all, go ahead and like. And please, if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy the vibes, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.